Some people, when they see a math problem like this, they'd be like, oh my, how do you solve this math problem? Four divided by three divided by two divided by six. How do you solve this math problem? When you see a math problem like this, you want to use a method called keep, change, flip, where you're going to keep the top part of the fraction that you change the division bar to multiplication. And lastly, you want to flip the bottom part of the fraction. So let me go ahead and show you that. So first things first, we keep the top part of the fraction and we want to turn this four divided by three into a fraction because we want to make the math easy. So we write four and I am running out of ink. Four divided divided by or four over three that is the fraction form of the top part of this fraction and then we want to change this division bar to multiplication so times and lastly we want to flip these numbers so the two will go here and the six will go there and it'll be written like this six over two and all you have to do is multiply across so four times Six, what is that? Four times six. Well, six times two is 12. And six times two again is 12. And when you add these two numbers, they give you 24. So we have 24. And then over three times two, hmm, that is six. And now we have an improper fraction, 24 over 6. And we need to break this down or, tur or turn this improper fraction or turn it into its simplest terms. So what we can do is divide by 2 because the top number is 24. It's an, an even number. And the 6 is an even number. So we can go ahead and divide by 2. So 24 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2. So 24 divided by 2 gives you what? Hmm. 12 over 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And now we have 12 over 3. And let's go ahead and keep breaking it down. So 12 divided by 3 or 12 over 3. We can divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3 gives you 1. And 12 divided by 3 gives you 4 because 4 times 3 equals 12. And we know that 4 over 1 equals 4. So your answer is 4. And there you go.